He's on stage performing drunk. It really goes well with tea. You're not going to believe this, but Mussorgsky was almost the famous Russian name you never heard of. Ah, oh, let me tell you a little bit about this. Mussorgsky was born to a well-to-do family about 10 years after Beethoven died in the 1830s, but he had a lot of problems. Beautifully prolific pianist, really a wonderful player, but his family sent him to military school. What does the army do to an 18-year-old gifted pianist? By the age of, oh, shall we say 23, 24, you had a full-blown alcoholic on your hands. By age 23, he was drinking nightly. He was in the seediest parts of Russia. The thing was, he had no deadlines. He wasn't writing for the public because the public wasn't interested in his Russian style of music. So when he died at the age of 40-something, really young, he drank himself to death, Rimsky-Korsakov, his younger friend, was the one who took all of his music, polished it up, and made him the great Russian genius we know today. Can you imagine what it's like to die with so much music still in you? So basically, if it hadn't been for who, Rimsky-Korsakov, you wouldn't know the name Mussorgsky.